Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to City Skylines Mass Transit. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day because I'm certainly excited to be back here in the beautiful city of Nerdshire, where things are going pretty well, I have to say. We're sitting on $8.7 million. We've got 192,000 people living here. And what you're looking at, why is my my throat sounds like it's 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 done? It shouldn't be. Uh, but what you're looking at is basically a, a new little bit of the city. It's a new little bit of the city that I'm currently working on that I initially started working on in a live stream a couple of days ago. I decided to stream here on YouTube. About a thousand people at one point were watching it live. I think over the course of the two hours, about six thousand people clicked on it, which is kind of nuts. That's like the biggest live stream I've ever hosted anywhere. So huge, huge thanks for that. It probably won't be the last time that we stream City Skylines on YouTube. Uh, but anyway, that aside, the VOD, the video on demand of that live stream might very well be on the channel at the moment. By the time this video goes out, I haven't really decided yet. But by the time you're seeing this, I will have to. The point is you might be able to go back and watch that. Uh, if you can, I'd encourage you to do so. You'll see what we did. There was a lot of little traffic management things. I built the roads for this area over here, extended some train lines, and just did some stuff. But even since then, it's been a while. There have been, between this episode, part 32 and part 31, there's been about six hours of just letting the game run and doing little things to let the simulation catch up with where we are. So that's why the population is higher than it was. Uh, that's why we're starting to see some demand creep in. And with that in mind, I want to go in and straight away start putting some industrial zoning into this area over here. Because I want to have some industrial zoning up along this space, because it would be nice to have some industry that can feed into all of the commercial stuff down here and the commercial stuff over here as well. So that's my idea. That's why we're going to put industry up here. Eventually, it looks like we're going to need some more residential zoning as well. But for the time being, what I think I might do is actually come over this way and start filling up some of these spaces. Now, this giant one here, I'm not really sure what to do with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that for the time being. I'm going to go to this one here. And I'm going to basically copy what I did with these spaces. I'm going to... Um, Go ahead and just get these sort of little roads going through. Lots of little dead ends here and there as well. Just all in an effort to make something that I think is going to look really good. That I think is going to look like a, a proper little suburb. So uh, let's just get to it. That road's going to come up to there. It's going to come across to, say, there and go straight up. This one's going to come across a little bit. Go to there, come down along like so, and straight down to there. And then it's going to continue. And it's going to go this way. And it's actually going to go, I think, uh, up to, say, there. And straight across like that, if possible, which apparently it isn't. So we'll go up uh, straight to there. And then maybe bring this one across just like so. So that right there is sort of going to be the, the series of backbones that make up this little area. It's hopefully going to look all right. It's, um, you know, it would be better to maybe have some stuff on an angle in here. Just looking at it. Because this one over here, like these roads are all a bit of a different angle to all of this space. So maybe it'll be worth doing. I think we'll leave it for the time being. Just since I have just done it and I don't want to immediately be like, you know that thing we just started? Let's get rid of it and do it again. Because I do that a lot. I record a lot of videos that never see the light of day for that very reason. Just a lot of stuff just doesn't quite make the cut. Because it's like, hey, here's this really cool idea I have. And then literally within five minutes, I'm tearing it apart. And I'm sitting thinking to myself, you know what? That's probably going to be a really bad viewing experience. And it usually is. I'm usually pretty spot on with that kind of stuff because I've been I've been doing this like, oh, God, here we go. Off topic already. And f we're just about five minutes into the video and I'm already off topic. That might be a new record. Uh, I'm sure someone's keeping track. The point is that I've sort of been doing this long enough to know when a video is just sort of a dud. 
And when a video is a dud, I just... I I say whatever, you know, let's let's just do it again. Let's just stop, delete the files and do it again. And every time I end up talking about this, people are always like, oh, you should totally release them as like bloopers. And it's like, well, no, they're not bloopers. They're just bad videos. It's not that they're funny. They're just boring. Uh, so, yeah, like there, there's a lot of moments where I, I, I build something and within five minutes I get rid of it and you just never hear about it because I just do the video again. But uh, the point of that story is that that's what I'm trying to avoid here, essentially. I'm, I'm trying to avoid doing that. So we'll do that kind of thing there. Let's go ahead and get some pedestrian paths coming through as well. We actually have road anarchy, uh, which is really good because it means I can do the pedestrian paths in a kind of interesting way where I can just bring them straight across like this and not have to worry too much about them clipping through roads. And it just makes them look better which is great stuff. So all of these roads are gonna come through like this. That one's gonna go to there and there and there. That one can go to there. Uh, this one can maybe go straight across to there. Yeah, I don't think that'll hurt. Then we have all of this space to fill up as well. So this one can go like that. This one can come in sort of like that. Uh, this one to there and this one maybe in a bit like that. And this one to there coming in like that. And then this is just going to loop around. Very similar to uh, what the other ones did. Going down to about there and like that. Uh, then we have one big old road to put straight up through here. With maybe a road coming from here to sort of link those two junctions together. We can... I, why am I saying road? Pedestrian path. They're not roads. They're not roads at all. They are very much pedestrian paths. So that gets linked like so. And we'll have one go up through that space too. Connecting it together. Have this one go to there like that. And this one can connect to that road. And maybe we'll have one sort of go across like that as well. Just to connect those two corners quite nicely. We can connect across there and connect up through there. And then I think this is going to be the last little bit that actually needs to be urgently done just over right about here. Yeah, I think that'll look uh, pretty good. Oh, we missed a bit. We did. We did totally miss a bit. Uh, we could actually do pedestrian paths sort of going the whole way around here if we wanted to. And I'm definitely tempted uh, for the simple reason that... Um, I don't know, I think it could be good. I think it could be really good to have uh, pedestrian paths just going the whole way around this space. You know, lining it really nicely. So something kind of like this. Uh, of course that's going to connect in a bit of an awkward way, but there's not a lot I can do about that. So that's going to connect there. That can go straight across. That can probably go straight across as well. Although it does leave a bit of an awkward gap, so maybe not. Uh, let's see. Can I get this to work the way I want it to, though? Probably not. Let's just turn off the grid snapping and freeform the whole thing. Uh, because it's going to be so much easier to do it that way. Rather than, uh, you know, going off the grid snapping. We can turn off the angles as well. And just sort of eyeball the whole thing. Again, just all in an effort to make this, uh, look kind of interesting over here. So that's going to connect to there and go straight across. That's going to go to about there, and there, and there. And this one's going to have to come in to about that point as well. Just to make the zoning on the main roads a little bit more interesting as well. So this goes straight the way across. This goes the whole way across there. And can go to about there. There we go. So that lines that whole space with some row uh, paths, connects it all up really nicely, gives us some room for some parks, which I think I might actually work on throwing in immediately rather than waiting till the end. Because uh, this one can actually fit in there pretty well. So maybe we'll do that. That park can go there. There is actually a pedestrian path going along there. It does have trees in it, but I might... No, you know what? We'll not let that be a thing. Let's, uh, let's bulldoze that. And let's just have this path go to there. Then we'll connect these ones like so, and like so, and like so. So you can walk through that park if you so desire, which is kind of going to be encouraged. So right there, going to be boosting the leisure and land value a little bit. 
In terms of services, I mean, healthcare is decent. Uh, fire coverage, not so much. So maybe a big old fire station at the corner wouldn't hurt. Maybe a little old fire station at the corner wouldn't hurt rather than the big old fire station at the corner. So little old fire station and policing maybe at the other corner as well. So somewhere like, uh, like that will uh, do a pretty good job, I think. As for zoning in this area, I mean, it's... It's going to be, again, very similar to what we did over here. Uh, I'm probably going to go with the European theme. And I'm going to try and get the high-density buildings uh, not along the entire highway, but just along... Not the highway, the avenue. Not along the entire avenue, but just the parts of the avenue where... Oh, why is this not selecting properly? Uh, just the parts of the avenue where it's facing other high-density buildings. So this is going to come the whole way around. I love that it's called Cozy... Oh, it's not called Cozy Square. It was, at a time, called Cozy Square, but Cozy Square was replaced by Woodland Heights. Long may we remember Cozy Square. Long, long may we remember. Uh, oh, went out a little bit there. Let's not worry too much about it. Let's just fill all this up, get things neatened up a little bit on the avenues as we do. Gotta have a neat district. Always, always got to have a neat district. It's always interesting as well. People kind of frequently tweet me uh, pictures of their neat districts, which I find really funny. Like, out of all the things people could tweet me from, like, the games that I play and they play, it's most commonly neat districts like that, just following the roads. It's, it is genuinely, that's a very common thing, and I love it genuinely, genuinely love it. Because, I don't know, I just think it's really nice to look at. I think it's a really just nice aesthetic thing with the districts where they follow the roads like that. Uh, and I just love that that has become a thing that people uh, are, are tweeting at me like, hey, look at my neat districts. I, I, I genuinely love it. Uh, and I'm curious, actually, how many of you actually do that? Uh, not tweet me your neat districts. I mean, how many of you actually, like, go for the neat district thing because um people bring it up in live streams a lot basically it's always people always bring up my uh, my pipe layouts towards the beginning of a city anyway my pipe layout towards the end of a city doesn't really stay all that neat but towards the beginning of a city my pipes are super super neat like over here um a lot of they're always following roads and stuff i mean over here it's a mess but you know originally they were nice and that's kind of, you know, it's the thought that counts. Anyway, let's uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and get some, I'm thinking office zoning the whole way along here. I think this whole thing is going to wind up being office zoning. Uh, so just all in there is going to be offices. And I'm totally fine with that. We'll let it build up. We'll let it do its thing. Uh, this area over here is obviously going to need a little bit more attention in a moment. Uh, in fact, maybe... Maybe it would be an idea to not do the office zoning here just yet. I'm just thinking it might be better to finish that first area with uh, industrial zoning. Because we don't desperately need offices. We do, however, need industry. We really do. Because a lot of places are still having issues with um, not enough goods. Like down here, there's quite a few places that don't have enough goods. Which is particularly interesting because they're... Pretty much beside an industrial zone. Uh, these places over here I understand slightly more, but it is definitely interesting seeing the whole not enough goods thing. That is definitely a, a curious little case there. Uh, oh god, these roads are still backing up like crazy around here as well, which is so unfortunate. I really wanted those to work, but they kind of just don't. They, they kind of just, just don't want to work. It really sucks. Uh, Oh, I've just noticed as well, we're about to hit 200,000 people in the city. Which is nuts, because we're not actually that close to being done with it. We have to do all the weird suburb-like things on the outsides. And then the proper, like, suburb spaces beyond that. And then a couple of people want me to build, like, little township sort of things, like, way out in the corners away from the city. Uh, a lot of people want me to do the international airport. That was, like, a really common thing in the stream. And I do want to do the International Airport, by the way. I'm thinking the International Airport is either going to go up here, which is not necessarily a location I'm thinking would be good for it, because it's super close to this one. Uh, but what I'm thinking is putting the... In I'm thinking of putting it way out here. Like, way, way out there. Because that way, 
you know, it's a proper journey to get to it, but I can have some fun with some trains, I can have fun with buses, and if I put enough stuff around it, it will be busy regardless, which is kind of a cool thing as well, so... I, I personally really like the idea of having the International Airport way, way out there. I think that'll be really fun, uh, to be honest. And also, to be honest, we could maybe get started on it today. I was thinking we'd hold off on it for maybe another episode or two, but I'm just looking and realizing, like, we... Our demand isn't perfect yet, so maybe... Maybe we grab the tree brush. And maybe we pull out some trees and start working on an area for the International Airport. So we're just gonna clear like a nice sort of square-ish space, sort of like this, and that right there is gonna be the rough zone for the International Airport. Now I will put trees back in there, don't worry. Um, but I'm thinking like right in the middle, right about there, International Airport. And I think that'll be pretty cool. I didn't place two of them, did I? Space already occupied? No, I didn't. So that right there, International Airport. No power, no nothing. It does really need some detail around it, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, no power, no nothing like that. Let's go ahead then and start figuring out the layout of this area. So I want to go 20 units that way. And I want to turn on road guidelines. And I want to go 20 units that way. And the curve for the International Airport is like there. Ish. Oh boy. That curve is actually going to be really hard to follow. Potentially. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this come along to there. And I'm going to have this go along to there. And then we need to get the little curve in there. So the curve is actually pretty much that. Which is fine by me. And the reason I want that is because I want there to be an option for traffic going to the airport and traffic that's just sort of passing to somewhere else in the airport area. Uh, but then what we can also do is we can actually just sort of try and link those together. So if we do that, turn on grid snapping and do, you know, that real quick. Uh, we'll do the same over here as well, just to try and keep symmetry. So what we'll do is we are going to have just a pretty much a big old one-way system. I don't know if I want to use... I don't know if one-way avenues would be the way to go on this. I feel like I don't have a choice, though. I feel like it's going to have to be a one-way avenue. So like that and like that. And then I want them to just connect together. Now, Road Anarchy is going to go on for this so that I can get the nice straight angles that I'm looking for, kind of like that. And kind of like that. And I obviously... This is only going to use four lanes which is kind of a pain. I wish there was some other, I mean, I could use a highway. I could absolutely use the four lane highway for this, which maybe that'd be a better idea, but it doesn't feel like it makes that much sense using like a super fast road or I could slow it down actually. Yeah, you know what? Oh no, it doesn't have footpaths though. Well, maybe it doesn't need them. Maybe it doesn't need footpaths. Maybe what we do is we bring it out to there. So that's another like 10 units. Uh, over on this end, it's going to be another, another sort of 10-ish units. And then we're going to curve it. So it's going to be a, a sort of 10 by 10 curve. And a 10 by 10 curve. And then I want that to just go straight. And I want that to just go straight as well. So 10 units there. Break all this back real quick. And bring it that way. And then if we flip that entire bit of rotor on, what kind of curve are we looking at here? It isn't 10 by 10, it is bigger, but that's not bad. That right there is a nice, decently sized loop for the airport, which is kind of what we're going for. Now, here's my question. With Road Anarchy on, oh, oh it's not going to let me do it, is it? That's kind of a pain. Hold on. Can I, like, get it to... Hmm. No, that's... So I can't... I'm trying... What? Oh, hold on. What I want to do is I want to... Why does it feel like Road Anarchy is not... I, I don't want it to snap. That's the thing. 
Or not snap. I don't want it to curve. I want it to go straight out rather than having that curve, but I don't think I can do that, unfortunately. Well, maybe I can. Let's give this a quick test. That's going to go to there. That's going to go... Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I was really hoping I could do that, but apparently not. Okay. Uh, well, what I was going to do was I was going to put another... Uh, basically another road along here. Which I'm still going to do. I just need to figure out a way to actually get it to um, be connected up. Because I want that road to sort of be like an internal-ish road. So maybe we bulldoze that bit and bulldoze that bit. And by internal, I mean that's going to be the road that services like the a giant parking lot, essentially. So maybe it could be turned into an avenue for a start. But the real question is, can I connect to it? Because I don't know if I can. Um, oh, I totally can. Okay, well, that's not going to be a nightmare. Not at all. Uh, so, <laughs> we're going to have some fun with that at some point. So, bring that back to there. Bring that down to there. And let's just, let's maybe have the avenue go the whole way around. Is that too silly? Would that be too much to do to have the avenue sort of go the whole way around this space? I feel like it could be, but... Um, let's let's at least give it a shot. Uh, so that lines up there, and then we just need the curves in the corners. I guess it just gives traffic a way to flow around in the inside of the airport complex, because what I want to do is I want to put a lot of parking in there. I do want that road that loops the whole way around, and I do like the idea that the only ways... You know, well, actually, maybe there, uh, there should be other ways into the, the complex as well, but... We'll leave it as is for the time being. Well, I also feel like the, run the runways need to be so much longer. I also love that I can snap to the runway. Uh, I need to get the air. I need to get the airport roads mod at some point. I really need to get the airport uh, airport mo uh, roads mod because that's going to let me actually, you know, do stuff with airport roads because I currently can't, which makes me very sad. Um, so let's see if we can at least you know, get something around the airport a little bit. So maybe we have like, you know, a dirt road running the whole way. Ooh. It actually clips the end of that runway, which is kind of not the worst thing in the world. Maybe we have, you know, that kind of thing. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to just, I'm trying to think out loud, really. I mean, to be fair, that's a, that's a lot of what I do is try and think a lot. I think we'll come back to that. We'll come back to the way the airport itself is actually going to be laid out. Let's just focus on this internal space, because this internal space, I guarantee you, some of you are going to like. Some of you are... Yeah, you're not going to like it. Uh, basically, that's, that's going to be that simple. You're probably not going to like it. Um, but that's fine. It's all good. We're not going to stress too much about that. Um, so I want to do that, and I want to do that. And then I want, yeah, I want this road to go the whole way along there. That's not actually going to let me, is it? Why is that not going to let me? Oh. Oh. Oh, that curve is different down there. How interesting. I guess it would be, wouldn't it? Uh, okay. Well, in that case, I guess what we're going to do is... Go to there and go to there. And does it still line up down here? No, it does not. Ah, well, that's a bit of a pain. Um, actually, no, you know what? It totally does. That goes there. And that road connects to there. Then that goes there. And that road connects straight through to... Awkwardly there, okay. Interesting. So that road, that's not going to connect there. And that's probably okay. But I want this to connect straight down to there. So we have ways in there and ways in there, essentially. So this one here is a way out. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, now on the inside of this, I'm gonna do, <laughs> gonna do something amazing, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna cover it in 
parking lots. Yeah, you heard me right. Uh, literally, literally covering it in parking lots so that number one, people are going to want to come here. And number two, it's kind of going to look like an airport. Airports happen to have a lot of parking. I don't know if you've noticed, but they have a lot of it. Like a serious, serious, just lot of parking. Uh, so it kind of makes sense to, you know, have a lot of parking lots done here. So those are all going to go in there. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is pretty much surround this space with as many parking lots as I possibly can. So do you ever step back from something that you've spent a little while on and just take a moment to think, have I gone too far? Because I'm currently experiencing that feeling. Uh, yeah, that's that's a lot is what that is. That's uh, literally a lot. Uh, oh my God. So, so many parking lots right there. But hey, at least people are going to be able to park to go on holiday, which is kind of the point. So yay. Uh, <laughs> I feel, I feel like I've slightly gone overboard, um, but I'm going to make it work. I don't know how I'm going to make it work, but I'm going to make it work. Uh, I'll tell you what I do want to do. Going to add a bus station. Uh, that's not a bus station. That's an airport. <laughs> Gonna add a bus station on here. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I mean, I could turn on anarchy and do that. Because here's the thing. That, oh, it almost extends the runway. It doesn't perfectly do it. Um, I'm gonna add the bus station on here. Um, and I'm very tempted to try and merge it with the airport terminal slightly. If only it did... Like, if I did that, the buses would clip through. That's kind of the only problem. Which is why I think it'd be better doing it on th this side over here. Actually, the buses wouldn't clip through necessarily. Like, if we put it there, all we need to do is not have buses use the last couple of stops. Which I'm actually totally okay with. So that's going to clip through the airport a little bit. But I, I, I think that's kind of okay. Because it is going to be, it's, you know, we'll treat it like it's some extension of the airport, which is kind of what it is. So that's fine. Um, bring that to there. Let's just bring this down to here as well. So now all of that has water. As for the other side of the airport, I mean, we could just throw in a bus terminal. Could even have it sort of clip the airport as well. Eh, it doesn't really look as good. I really need the I need to get the move it mod at some point. And I need to get it at some point really soon as well. Cause some of this just looks a little bit kind of like garbage. Uh if we're being <laughs> if we're being completely honest. Some of it doesn't look great. Uh so, you know, we're we're gonna have to look into that. Um fairly soon. Now here's a question. With Road Anarchy on, can I get those to connect together? I actually totally can and I'm very tempted to do that actually because what I think I may do if I flip that around is bulldoze those ones and set this road here up as mostly a place for buses to go because I kind of feel like that's going to be a, a good idea um, so I want a little pathway there and a little pathway there and I want one there and I want one there but I also want to make sure that we can get some pathways across from there. So we're going to need to do this kind of thing to make sure that that actually works. And then we're going to need to go into the roads tool and get ourselves some crosswalks. Put one there, put one there, there, and there. So there we go. People can not cross over and do their thing. Um, we are going to need a crosswalk there as well. And there, there, and there. Again, so people can cross over and do their thing. But that frees up this road down here for mostly bosses. And that's kind of what I want. Now, in terms of how people are going to get out here, 
Uh, I'm actually thinking this road here is actually going to be just continued. So, if we grab, you know, the freeform tool, we can come straight off of there and just sort of gently curve up the hill. Kind of like that. We can sort of curve over this way a little bit and curve around, sort of approaching the airport. And what I think I want to try and do is I want to turn on road guidelines. And I want a road that goes 10 that way. And I want a road that goes 10 that way. And then turn it around. And then at the intersection of those two roads is where the avenue is going to go. So those roads intersect there. So off of that, I need like a 40, 135 degree thing, uh, which I actually can do. I can do this. So that to there. And that's perfect. That's exactly, exactly what we want. Uh, so this road gets bulldozed. This road gets bulldozed. And the one-way roads come in from either side. And then they're going to loop and sort of connect. I could have a right angle on that, but I don't really want one. Um, that's not the nicest looking thing there. I wonder if I was to go into the freeform tool, go, you know, to there and then up to there. Does that work? Not really. Okay. What about, what if we just do that then? I don't know how many units that was though. It's kind of the problem. Um, can I just get, you know, 10 units if I turn off road guidelines? So 10... And it's not letting it go in. Good. Uh, excellent. I don't want to just do a sharp bend like that. That's not going to look good. It's not going to look realistic. Um, so I think it's going to just have to be that. Then we're sort of going to have to eyeball it on this side. So something like that as well. I think that's as close as we're going to get. But that's going to be the ways in and out of the airport essentially so those get changed and yeah that's not the best looking thing in the world but i'm actually curious to see how it functions i'm really really curious to see how that ends up functioning uh what we need to do as well set up the lanes correctly so you are going to go to there and you are going to go to there and you're going to go to there and you're going to go to there and that should be fine um it might actually be an idea to no we'll not downgrade the highway we could downgrade it here, but I don't think we'll bother. Uh, as for here, this lane is going to be a turn lane. And you know what? We are actually going to downgrade this bit in the middle. Just simply because it kind of makes sense. Two of the lanes branch off, two of the lanes don't. So two lanes go left, two go straight on. It looks a bit weird, but it's going to make my life a lot easier. Because uh, then all I need to do is actually just connect up the two avenues and we are G to G. So, bring this across like there, turn on road guidelines, and the curve we're looking for is there. And there we go. International Airport, technically connected to the city, doesn't actually have electricity, unfortunately. Um, so, I mean, there's not a lot. I can, I can put a solar plant out here, but I think what I may do is just... I could throw a wind turbine, like, into that corner, but it's going to be really loud. Uh, I think what I may just do is run a, um, run a power line. So have that and that go there. Have that go to, well, not there. Um, there and there. Then have that go like so. Uh, turn on anarchy. Doesn't actually work. Good. Uh, that's just what I want to see. Uh, but that can come across like so. Oh, that doesn't actually connect up. Oh, come on. Work with me. You go to there and you go to there and then you two connect together like that. So that's fine. That right there is going to be the way we connect up power, I guess. So let's bring this down the entire stretch of road towards the city, because that's not going to be tedious. And there we go. And what's more, we actually have a surprising number of people coming up this way. 
Admittedly, most of them are going to the parking lots. Uh, that's kind of to be expected, but a surprising number of people nonetheless. I also imagine we might see a decent number of people actually start to use the international airport itself. Uh, now, let's go ahead and actually start filling in some trees again, because I do think we need them. Bring the strength way down and just start filling in some trees sort of over there a little bit, just to make that area look a little more built up. Uh, we could start filling in a little bit of that space, a little bit of that space as well. Just a bit around there as well. Uh, maybe just clear out some of the trees there, so it does look like we have sort of designated flight paths. Uh, so that, you know, some of the trees are going to be quite thick up here. Some not so much. Kind of that simple. Um, so yeah, just something kind of like that. And I think that looks kind of cool. Uh, so the International Airport is obviously going to need some more buildings around it. I'm not necessarily thinking we're done with it. Uh, very interesting to see these vehicles coming in, though. Curious to see what's going to happen with them. Most of them clearly going off to the right there. Um, you know, it might actually be an idea to turn off traffic lights on that little stretch of road. Just, uh, just looking at it. Because that's going to become a nightmare. And then maybe set it up so that has priority. Oh, sorry. No, that has priority. Those two give way. Again, just to make sure that they can sort of do their thing. Otherwise, we might have some issues. So this right here is priority. The other roads are going to stop and let them sort of move about their business. Most people are just going to parking lots at the moment, but... Yeah, I am, I am actually really curious to see, you know, when we might see something from the international airport. We might see some vehicles come in. Uh, I'm also thinking that I'm absolutely not necessarily done with the international airport. I think eventually I'd like to replace a lot of those with multi-story uh, car parks. I'd also like to put some general details in. So what I can do, like I can go in here and let's see, we have billboards, sort of. Uh, there's billboards somewhere. Is that, that's not a freestanding one. That's like a building billboard. Ah, these ones. So I can totally like put actual like billboards on the way to the airport that, you know, make it look a bit more like an airport. Cause you always see it, you know? On the way to an airport, you always see you know, loads and loads of billboards, just advertising, just stuff, really. So, you know, a couple of billboards kind of like that on the way to the airport for a little bit of added detail. Uh, we could go in and let's see, we have some other billboards as well. We actually, we don't have any plane related ones, though, unfortunately, but we have, you know, some slightly bigger ones. Uh, let's see, we have more car ones. Hmm. I might have to, I might have to get myself some custom assets. There's a definite possibility that that's that's gonna have to be a thing I do. Is uh, is get me some custom assets. Oh hello. So you've landed 200 passengers, which is actually kind of crazy. Uh, you're landing with 169 passengers. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. We're gonna have a bus. We're gonna have a bus come in. It's gonna go there. Uh, and it's gonna go the whole way out and I think I think I want two different bus lines. I think I want one That is do I have two bus stations? I know I've got I've got one. No, I don't have one over there. I don't actually have a full bus station anywhere Do I or am I totally forgetting that I totally do because I don't remember having a bus. Oh, there's one there. Right, so we could, we could absolutely have an airport bus go to there. I could swear I had another bus station somewhere. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to have an airport bus come into there, I think. So that's going to be one. And that's going to go back. Now, unfortunately, I was going to put the buses along here, but it kind of makes more sense to have them in the station, you know? Uh, and the next one I want to go to the train station up here, I think. Definitely think that could be a little interesting stop. So all the way up to there. Uh, maybe not to there, actually. Maybe this one should go towards, like, this metro station here. So the stop would be there. Which means it sort of just goes, you know, right back out towards the airport. Uh, and then a third one that I think could go more towards the heart of the city. So towards here. And then again, straight back out to the airport. 
Then those three boss lines are going to tweak. So if we sort by name, uh, 31, 30, and 29 are all going to be red because they're airport lines. And that's the color we went for on all of our airport lines. So 30, bright red. And 31, also bright red. Um, so that's going to be international. Well, it's INT International Airport uh, Line One. Then International Airport Line Two, and International Airport Line Three. All right. So we might see some stuff happen with those. Uh, we might see people who are kind of keen to use the the buses there. We might not. Buses already heading out though, which is beautiful to see. I actually upgraded the buses. So the buses can actually carry more people. They can carry 55 as opposed to 35, I think the default number is. Which is good, in my opinion. I think it's really good uh, that they can carry more people. Oh, here we go. So they're all heading out, a lot of them driving. A lot of them walking, admittedly. Which is very good stuff. Uh, I also think I should probably throw in some taxi stands. Now that I think about it, totally forgot the taxi stands. So we'll get a bunch of those sort of across there. We'll leave a gap of two and get a couple more. Then on this side, um, we start from here, leaving a gap of two. And we put a bunch just like that. So just a bunch of taxi stands there. We could totally throw in a taxi depot too. Don't think that'll hurt. Maybe Road Anarchy to overlap them slightly. Maybe not. What about like Shift P? Will that let me overlap them with Road Anarchy? Nope. All right. Taxi stand right there. Turn off Robin Tree Anarchy. And we might see some good stuff happen from the buses there. Actually, so many people coming around here as well. Mostly, admittedly, for the parking lots, uh, <laughs> which isn't great. Um, I think what we're going to need to do, actually, is set this up so this, they can only go left. I think that's going to, it's going to have to be that way, isn't it? So they, they have, what the, why did that one U-turn? Oh, he was parking. Oh, that reminds me. They should not be able to park on that bit of road. So no parking there. And certainly no parking there either. Uh, and really, they shouldn't be parking along any of those roads as well. So all of that kind of needs upgraded. That is going to mess with a few of my pathways. But the less space they have for parking, the better. Obviously, I can't stop them from parking in front of the airport, but just the less space in general, the better, as far as I'm concerned. So let's turn Road Anarchy on real quick and get the pathways back in here. We're going to need to get the crosswalks as well, but that's not going to take too long at all. Uh, so you go there, and then it's just a case of going to roads, crosswalks. We want them there. We want one there. Uh, we want one there. And there as well. All right, so that right there should hopefully help traffic move a little bit. They are parking on... Oh, they're making the illegal turn. Not a legal turn, but they're making the turn I don't want them to make again because I updated the road. Uh, left only. I only want them to go left. And then the priority signs are set up so these guys have priority. And to be honest, it might not be a terrible idea to go ahead and perhaps increase the speed limit on that road as well. Because it does drop down from 100 to 40 to 50. So maybe 100 to 60 and 60. And then 50. But I also, oh my god. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. Um, I'd really like to maybe change the lanes a little bit as well, but I, I think it'll filter out pretty quickly. I don't think we're going to have too many major uh, major tailbacks once uh, traffic sort of sorts itself into the lanes that it needs to be in, because a lot of it is, for whatever reason, deciding to sort of sneak up the lanes there and not do what I want it to do. So maybe this needs to be set. So you are going to go there. You are going to go there. You're going to go there. And you're going to go there only. Uh, then these lanes are going to be... That. That. 
and straight on. Uh, actually, maybe that one doesn't go straight on at all. So that one's only going to turn. So all of the traffic is eventually going to merge into the one lane. And traffic that is not in a spot where it can merge is just going to have to go straight on and sort itself out later. Uh, but eventually, I think traffic will, you know, filter around, do its thing, and be totally fine. It's just going to take a little bit. But I have to say, I'm really, really impressed with the amount of traffic that's flowing up towards the airport. I know why most of it's going there. It's because of the parking lots, because it's just this giant, uh, quote-unquote, tourist attraction. But even so, that's, that's totally fine by me. I think that's kind of fun. Although I would like to get rid of those ones there and maybe replace them with, like, Japanese gardens. So we just have something a little bit, you know, different looking in that space. Yeah, I think that looks all right. Could do the same down here as well. So get rid of those. And throw in a couple of Japanese gardens just there. Again, just to be something a bit different. Uh, now, the buses are probably going to be a nightmare for traffic as they try to merge into the city. Actually, to be honest, maybe not. I'm not seeing any... T oh, hello. Oh, why do I get the feeling that all of that traffic on the highway there is going to the airport? Why do I get the sneaking suspicion that that's what's going on there? That is kind of silly. Anyway, let's head back to this space and start getting more zoning in here. Uh, so what we're going to do is more offices just there uh, with offices the whole way across here as well. And offices down here too. Uh, in fact, maybe we'll just fill up all of that space with offices there. And then the rest of it is going to be industry. Yeah, I, I think the rest of it being industry is going to be totally fine. Uh, that bit, not so much. But let's fill up all of this with industry, all of this with industry, and that really should be a nice little boost to the shops in these areas. Uh, this area here actually filling up again, which is beautiful to see. But, uh, my god, there's so much traffic going out this way. I actually, I really enjoy that. I really do. I'm really happy that people are coming out here. I know what it's for, but it just makes the area look really busy, and that's kind of kind of a really good thing. It's kind of what we're going for. Uh, you guys really shouldn't be crossing there. I don't know why you're crossing there, because you could totally cross, like, further up. But you really shouldn't be crossing there. But, you know, you guys do you. 563 people using this place. That's just nuts. That's cool, though, as well. Like, it's, it's silly, but... It is also people using the international airport, which usually doesn't happen. So uh, I think what I might do, ladies and gents, is actually leave it there for today. There's still going to be a little bit of waiting that we have to do. The population's over 200,000 as well. Totally missed that. Uh, there's still going to be some waiting that we have to do in terms of getting demand back to where it needs to be. And I do want to install the airport roads mod so I can extend the runways and make this airport look a bit more sizable because the parking lot's currently you know, twice the size of the footprint of the airport. So I'd like to make the runways a bit longer. I'd like to maybe get some of the modular terminals so we can expand it and make it look just like a bigger airport. Because I think that's going to be a pretty good idea. But uh, nonetheless, thank you kindly for watching. As always, it has been an absolute pleasure. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.